September 30th, 2005, KLAK highlights McKinney North and McKinney. I formation, toss left, Wimbish cuts it back inside, now cuts it outside, he's got some length, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, makes a cut and is knocked out of bounds, right past the midfield stripe. 8, 17 left to go in the second quarter, no score, Alcorn, toss left side, Maxwell has a seam, cuts it 50, 45, 40, outruns a man for 30, 25, 20, and is going to be wrestled down at the 12-yard line. You wanted to know about Calvin Maxwell, we'll get some of that. Here's Alcorn under center, toss left side. That's Calvin Maxwell, and you can tell by the crowd, it's touchdown time in Texas. The Kenny Lions score first in the second Crosstown Showdown meeting here. And Calvin Maxwell runs it up one yard for the touchdown. This is Eubanks in motion. They're going to hand off to him, cuts it up inside, 50, 45, trying to find the inside corner and knocked over and fumbles the football at the 33. Picked up by McKinney's Eddie Morgan, makes a cut at the 35, 30, 25, 20. Eddie Morgan's going to stroll into the end zone, and it's touchdown time in Texas. Eddie Morgan on a 67-yard fumble return, and McKinney all of a sudden has a two-touchdown lead in this football game. 109, 108, trying to get the play in. Herbal in shotgun formation, sends a man in motion from right to left. This is handed off, Chase Barrett running five, barreling his way towards the end zone. The ball is on the turf in the end zone. McKinney may have recovered, and they say, yes, McKinney has recovered in the end zone. Chase Barrett fumbles at the one-yard line. This is the Boomer Ruski to Brett Anderson, has all the room in the world, 35-40, 45-50, 45-40, 30-25-20 30, being chased down, and he is into the end zone. It is touchdown time in Texas. What a call by Coach Todd McVay. Where did that come from? The Boomer Ruski. A 35-yard field goal as the ball is placed at the 25. Atwell, the holder, snap is good, it's on the tee, the kick is up, it lips through, and it is no good. It is wide left, but hold everything. There is a flag on the play right behind the kicker. This place is about to absolutely erupt at the seams. Eric Herbal in shotgun formation, Chase Barrett to his left, option play, pitches it out to Chase Barrett, has the five, has the end zone, and no signal yet, no signal yet. He is down at the one yard line. And a three point stance in front of Barrett who gets the ball running towards the middle. And I don't know if he got in. And now they say yes, it is touchdown time in Texas. McKinney North has cut this lead from 13 to nothing to 13 to six with a one yard Chase Barrett touchdown. Herbal wants to throw. Looks out right side, has nobody, looks over the middle, has Boblitz, and it is picked off by Cates Keith at the 35, rolls past the 50, loses his footing, and rolls down at the 42-yard line, flag down, and we'll see what that is. Shotgun formation, Eric Herbal hands off Barrett once again, right tackle, big hole, 15, 20, out to the 25, and barreling his way out to the 30-yard line, and McKinney North fans go nuts. Eric Herbal in shotgun formation, has two receivers either side. David Douglas to the near side, Aiton Williams out far right side. Eubanks in motion. This is Herbal, back to pass, plenty of time. Looks over across the middle. Wide open, Aiton Williams caught it at the 35, down at the 33-yard line. A great catch and throw from Eric Herbal to Aiton Williams. It is fourth down and six. Shotgun formation, they're still lined up to go for it. Play clock has not started yet. Chase Barrett is on the right side of Eric Herbal, who's in shotgun formation. Blake Boblitz split out wide left. Eric Herbal looking over there, throws out in the end zone. Eubanks caught to the end zone. It is touchdown time in Texas. Cameron Eubanks holds it in at the three, makes a nifty move, and scores. You got to give Pratt credit for a gutsy call. There was none more gutsier than the game on the line at fourth and six. And then to throw a pass short, Eubanks was the third option. They were initially trying to go for Blake Blobblitz, who was running a two-yard slant toward into the end zone, two yards and then slant. And then uh, the second option was on the other side. And then that's when Herbal looked at, uh, at Eubanks there, who caught it. 
still needing to get three yards for a first down and was able to evade a tackle that would have stopped him short and then finds the end zone. What a game! Woo! Boblet's on for the all-important PAT. And this is very, very, very important. It is tied 13-13. to 13, 436 left to go in this game. McKinney North has just tied it on a Eric Herbel to Cameron Eubanks touchdown strike. Boblet's back. The snap. It is back. It's on the tee. It's up. And the kick is good. Can you hear the McKinney North faithful? It is 14 to 13. McKinney North just takes the lead for the first time. Back in a moment on 97.5 K Lake FM. Fourth down, six seconds left to go. 14 13. McKinney North on top. The kick is back. It's long enough. It is up. And it is no good. It was pushed to the right. McKinney North has one second on the clock, and they will win the second ever Crosstown Showdown, and the McKinney North crowd is going absolutely bonkers on the far sideline. A missed 43-yard field goal by Patrick Kleinenberg gives McKinney North their first win over McKinney in their school history, and they will move on to 4-1, and one, move on to 2-0 and oh in district, and set themselves up for a big dance if they can play in the rest of the District 9-4A like they played tonight. We may be talking about McKinney North in December. And McKinney North, you have won tonight over the McKinney Lions. And there are happy Bulldogs in North Texas. And a shocked crowd in a sea of gold on the near sideline as I'm telling you what this has got to be one of the best football games I have ever witnessed in my 12 years of doing this kind of thing this is probably the absolute best